Thanks for the status, but I'm going to speak. Is uh, Peter Knight here? Not yet? <coughs> so I want to introduce uh, Billy Joe Delaron. He's one of the one of the infamous five people that uh, retrieved the bell for us and uh, brought it back to its rightful owners. And uh, Billy Joe used to be the president of the Métis Manitoba Federation, and uh, I believe that was in the mid '90s. And uh, he's been an active Métis for forever, I guess, and very active in the last 22 years. <laughs> but he's got a beautiful story of the bell, and um, I wrote a prayer, a prayer of intention for the bell, which I'll read in the chip. Uh, the English and the chip, and you'll have to bear with me. My good friend uh, Norman Fleury translated it to the chip, and I'm not fluent in the chip, and I'm going to. And I, I did the prayer in the toss, so uh, I'll turn it over to Mr. Delaro. Just for logistics, I know this will take about 15, 20 minutes. So I would ask if the council, the leaders, and the vets would take a seat and then we sit down. Uh, President. 
in Dumont who uh, so graciously invited me here and his wife Joanne. He said there's something magic in <laughs> And of course, the uh, vice president of, of the British Columbia, uh, Annette Maurice. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Annette at, at Patoche. I also want to acknowledge all the dignitaries who have come, all the friends of the Métis, and all the leadership, and I had the opportunity of watching your uh, democracy in action today. And uh, I think you're very civil compared to Manitoba. Hold <laughs> yourself. Marie, which is what's in front of you. Um, some people refer to it as the bell of the talk. Well, the Belle of Batoche doesn't have a life, but Marie Antoinette does, and this is her name. And I didn't give her that name. She was given that name on September the 22nd, 1884, in Batoche, Saskatchewan, a thriving Métis community. And she was baptized by Bishop Vittel Grandin, the Bishop of St. Albert which is a suburb of Edmonton now. And the, grand, uh, the, the godparents were Marie Champagne and Zavi Latandre Batoche. They, they had a ceremony and, and named her Marie Antoinette. And why Marie Antoinette? Some people have said it's because of the uh, French 16th, uh, Louis XVI's wife, the French queen, who got beheaded but that is not the case. The truth is that the Métis people, when they became a nation and when they started exercising that nationhood in, in, in what we call Northern Western Ontario, the old Métis Northwest, and when they came onto the prairies, they started to become a very strong force. And they were not going to settle for anything less but nationhood and to bring a great province into a confederation as well. Their understanding was that the Métis were just as much part of Canada as anybody else. And they seen that the French would have the province of Quebec, the English would have the province of Ontario, and the Irish and the Scots would share the Atlantic provinces, and that the Métis would have Manitoba, and then, of course, the other Indian tribes that also have places in this great country. However, that's not the way things unfolded. The Métis uh, formed a massive exodus from Red River. 85 to 90 percent of the Métis people that ended up in Batash came from Red River, from St. Agathe, Fort Alexander, from uh, Saint Laurent, from uh, Turtle Mountain, uh, and from Boggy Creek, Saint Clair, and they all came to Batoche, just like the Israelites left and looked for their promised land. So when they came onto the Holy Land of Batoche. They found their holy land, they found their promised land. And who they had prayed to was Saint Anthony, the patron saint for things that are lost. And then of course Marie, which is the, G, the mother of Jesus, Mary, en français Marie. So the play on words was Marie Antoinette, that's how she got her name. <clears throat> she came out on July the 20th and Batash. 22 years 
after it disappeared for the last time. And I tell some very close friends, as I speak, I had the pleasure of going to Cool Lake, Alberta. President Patre invited me to his territory. And it was so appropriate that Marie Antoinette would make her, her first voyage, her first voyage to the oldest political organization of the Métis people in this country. And that's the Métis of Nation of Alberta, which used to be the Métis Association of Alberta. And I've seen what it does to people. I still say I don't know what I have reached in Batash, but something is happening. And it's happening across this country. It's happening to Haiti people and those around them. <coughs> this is the first time that Marie Antoinette has been hired in the church people or the bell tower or the fire tower in Millbrook. She came over the mountains, her maiden flight. <laughs> and she feels good. <laughs> When you observe the bell, you will see some pock marks on it. And those pock marks are a result of the Gatling gun being turned by Captain Howard on the May Tee in the bell. So you will see those bullet marks on her. And that's, that is a connection that you will feel. Because up to this point, 